With over 20 million tattoos, Britain is now the most tattooed nation in Europe. 21% of people aged 18 to 29 in the UK have a tattoo, and it's now becoming increasingly more rare for people to only have one. So the question we are asking is why the tattooed population is increasing so greatly. Is it because they are addictive? We're going to find out. When did you get your first tattoo? Uh, when I was 15. Uh, about 10 years ago, uh, when I was 15, from my dad. Quite regularly after that? Or? Um, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, got into it quite quickly. I think I started getting a lot of tattoos by the time I was sort of like 18, 19. Uh, no, it was about three years ago I started getting them regularly, once a month, every month, for three years. Do you think they're addictive? Everyone, everyone says they only get them on like, the tops of their arms and stuff, yeah. but you always end up with them everywhere. Yes. Yeah. In every way. Every single way. Every single way. Okay, we're about to go and interview a psychology teacher. She works here at the college. Her name's Samantha Payne. We're going to get a more um, professional view on the matter and if tattoos themselves could actually be addictive in the psychological matter. My name is Sam Payne and I am the psychology lecturer here at Western College. But for me addiction is anything which is a compulsion of something that you feel that you need to continue. It can be uh, biological, it can be um, chemical and it can just be social as well. So the compulsion to keep on doing something and for me tattoos are more of a social thing. Although you can bring in biological side of things because you know there is an endorphin rush when you have your tattoos done. I do, I have five. Ooh, wow. Well. Um, my first tattoo was <laughs> very ill-advised, probably. I have Thumper from Bambi on my shoulder. Um, I had it done when I was 17 years old, and I just basically said to my mum and dad, I'm having a tattoo, I don't care. It has, yeah, it's one of the things I found really, really tragic about it, the fact that as soon as you have tattoos, some people, it's, it's getting better, but some people automatically put you into this grouping where it's almost like, you know, you've got tattoos, therefore you're probably going to want to burn our shop down. Um, I have had um, jobs where I've had to be covered up. Teaching is one of them, um, for example, where I can't have tattoos on display when I was teaching in schools. Had to be covered up, so even you know during the really hot few days we have, then I'm the only one wandering around sweltering in a cardigan because I'm not allowed to have tattoos on display. In colleges it's different. You still get kind of looks from a few of the older lecturers, but generally speaking, you're okay. <laughs> yes, highly. Um, I think the thing that stops people doing them is the cost, especially if you're going to go somewhere decent. You know, you're looking probably between 60 and 90 quid for, a, you know, for an hour session, which is very expensive. But once you do have one, because they're a way of expressing yourself and they're a beautiful form of art, then yes, I think they are addictive. As well as, like I said, you know, the, the endorphins that you get afterwards, you always feel kind of like after you've had one done and it's, you know, showing people and you're like, look at them. But yes, I think that, you know, the social side of it and, like I said, the endorphin side of it is addictive. Okay, we've just come out from interviewing Sam. Um, it was great to hear her opinion as a psychology teacher and that tattoos can be quite addictive because of the endorphin rush. But it was also great to hear her opinion with her being an individual herself and having a few tattoos. Working in school, she's had a few issues on having to show them and having to wear certain clothes to hide them. But in a college, it's not been such an issue. I'm just going to go and interview Anna now. She works at Ford Futures. I'm just going to see her opinion on tattoos and see if anyone were trying to get a job and had tattoos themselves to see if their chances would be lowered. Let's go and see her opinion on the matter. Uh, my name's Anna Partridge and I am the manager of Ford Futures within Western College. We recruit solely for the college for all of their agency staff, so any part-time staff, lecturers, assessors, learning support assistants, administrators, exam invigilators, literally across the board, anybody that's not a Western College staff member would work through Ford Futures on a temporary basis. So I do. You do? Um, I think the first one was a sudden, I've turned 30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to get a tattoo. Um, and after that, they did such a good job. I thought, oh, I'm going to have a couple more. So I have got four in total. Not yet. <laughs> No, not at all. Nothing no. at all. No. Their chances wouldn't be lowered. Um, it all depends on the role that they want to do. 
as to whether they would might need to either cover up their tattoos or remove their piercings for health and safety reasons. Um, they're, if they have tattoos, everybody has them these days. Um, they're not as taboo as they used to be. Obviously, if somebody's in the public eye all the time, a company may sort of say, you know, we'd appreciate if you would cover them up whilst at work. Um, but I've got a number of, of staff members that have got tattoos that you can see them on show and everything else, but it doesn't affect them to have the ability to do their job. Hi, so I've just come out of the meeting with Anna. Uh, what she had to say was actually quite interesting. I uh, didn't think that there wouldn't be such an issue with the matter. She says that a few people herself working for Forward Futures actually have tattoos, so that's great. Okay, so we're just off to Custom Culture today in Whirl. Um, we're going to interview uh, Jo, she's a tattooist there, and also one of her customers to ask them a few questions on uh, tattoos and whether they're addictive. Hello, my name's Jo. Candy Machine is my artist's name. I work here at Custom Culture and Timeless Tattoos in Hollywood. Um, I was 16, so a bit young, and it was um, just as candy, I don't know if you can see it. Oh yeah, that's my bad. The usual one, yeah, usual uh, rubbish first person, first time tattoo. I don't regret it, no. no. I probably wouldn't necessarily get the same thing, but I don't hate it that much to want to get it removed or anything. I would say so, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, the first time you get one, it's, you've got the fear of the unknown and everything. You don't know how much it hurts. You've got the, uh, you've got to tell your friends and everything. There's a big shock. Once you've had one, no one cares you get your second one. You know how much it hurts, so, yeah, it is kind of, and some people even say they kind of had the pain with it. So there's various things that make people come back. Hi, so we've just come back from Custom Culture. It was great to interview Jo and to hear what she said about everything. Um, great to have get a little bit of an insight into the business as well. Also one of the customers there, one of the guys, he was actually getting a tattoo at the time, so we interviewed him. Um, he was finishing off a sleeve and they both thought they were quite addictive. Since the start of our journey, I've met many people to influence my opinion. And now I firmly believe that tattoos are addictive in more than just one sense. We conducted a survey that supported this belief as 61% of people with tattoos said they're addictive. Thank you.